Well, hello, Nola, and thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, you were able to read the incredible book, Gordon Parks, How the Photographer Captured Black and White America for us uh, as we do our promotional uh, readings for Black History Month. How was it reading it? It was a very good book and I would highly recommend it to anyone, especially those who are interested in the differences between black and white. Why is it important for us to share these stories for people? I, I like uh, to be in a group of people that share their stories. And I think that if we share our stories with other people, that it will, uh, help to communicate better. So I just think it's a good thing for us to to be able to share our own experience with other people and listen to their experiences too. That was Nola. She is one of the many residents who participated in our Black History Month Story Corner initiative, sharing the stories of Black Americans and their invaluable achievements and contributions to this country. February is Black History Month, a time to pay tribute and celebrate the generations of Black Americans who broke barriers and contributed to the foundations of our country. For the past three years, Arrow Senior Living has been celebrating the month by producing videos of residents reading children's books all about Black historical figures in order to spread awareness, all of which can be found on Arrow's YouTube page. So go check it out. As part of this initiative, each year, Arrow fundraises throughout the month to purchase copies of these books from the I See Me bookstore for local schools and to donate to the I See Me Foundation. The I See Me Foundation is the nonprofit arm of the I See Me African American Children's Bookstore. Its mission is to promote literacy and a love for reading among low income households. But the fun doesn't stop there. No, it doesn't. Our fundraiser not only supports buying books in February, it also funds a year-round initiative to donate diverse books to local schools. So please, allow me to share some of my conversation with Jeffrey Blair, co-founder of I See Me, to hear more about their mission and how we're working together in this important endeavor. Absolutely. So I am the proud co-owner of the I See Me African American Children's Bookstore located in University City. And uh, myself and my wife um, started uh, the bookstore in 2015. And uh, it came out of our experience raising our four beautiful, wonderful children. And in that process, we just found it incredibly difficult trying to find children's books that reflected their beauty, uh, their heritage, uh, contributions of um, African Americans to the world of society. It's just really difficult. And so, but we went, you know, we, we did that and we created a, a foundation for them to be able to see uh, the richness of their legacy. And that allowed them to do really well in school. And so that's what the name came from. We want children to be able to pick up a book at any topic that they want and be able to open it up and say, I see me in that book, or I see me in those stories and that. So that's where the concept of I see me came from. You guys came to us and you guys are like, hey, we have this idea. And we're like, absolutely, let's let's do it. This is good. We're, we're all about partnership and collaboration. And so um I believe you guys have you know raised funds in order to purchase books. You know, you want to support a local, a local, a local business. Uh, for so many, we could do a show just about why that's so important, but um, you guys understood that and, and uh, so utilizing us to, you know, supply uh, a lot of diverse books that you could then have, you know, your different um, um, chapters, uh, different uh, locations, be able to donate to local area schools. And uh, so that, again, help diversify, help add, you know, a lot of uh, quality books um, to uh, the children in those various areas so that, again, they could see themselves in those books that they read. And so you guys were a great partner in that and allowing that to happen. So we're so thankful for that. We have had incredible success in our mission the past few years, and we are looking forward to continuing that here in 2024. Back in 21, Arrow raised an impressive $4,530 and purchased books for 25 schools. In 2022, we doubled that amount and raised a whopping $9,050 and donated to 28 schools. Then last year, we were honored to receive a staggering $13,105 in donations, and we were able to donate books to 29 schools. 
All of this success is thanks to your incredible generosity. Yes, by making a donation, you put books in the hands of kids and made a real difference in their lives. But our work is not done yet. No, not by a long shot. We're back at it again this year and we're setting an ambitious goal of $15,000 in donations. I know, I know that sounds like a lot, but you all have shown us in years past that when we all come together and give what we can, that there is nothing that our Arrow family, friends, and partnerships cannot accomplish. Words cannot express how grateful we are for your generosity in years past, and we know that you all are gonna make a huge difference in children's lives once again this year. Black History Month is going to be a time of celebrating the past, people, culture, accomplishments, but it's going to also be one of improving the future. And making books readily available is one of the best things that you can do to create that better future. So, uh, so let's make that happen together, shall we? So thank you again from Arrow Senior Living and from the ICME Foundation.